Could Kai's vision be connected to Skylar? Let's discuss. Now, Kai doesn't mention anything about his vision, but um, I'm obviously going to suggest that his vision is a main connection to him getting trapped in this season, but we've got to talk about something that's also very notable to Kai's character. Skylar keeps mentioning it to him every time they basically see each other. Kai asks Skylar out. During the final battle of Crystallized. Um, well, actually, just during the fight. Um, and um, basically, Skylar says, no. No, because pretty much you're asking me now. You've had several years to basically do it. Um, and you've never come to talk to me or contact with me. Now, we know after Crystallized, Kai and Skylar definitely did connect again. But did he just do what he did in Season 11? Again to Skylar? Yeah, kind of did. Um, in fairness, though, um, Kai's main priority has always been his sister. Um, but I think the smartest option that Kai definitely had done in Dragon's Rising Season 1, um, before, after, straight after the merge, was going straight to the monastery. If any allies are going to be anywhere, they're going to be there. And Lloyd was the only one there. Um, no one else found their way back there. So, I presume, basically, he was there. Um, Lloyd was there, everyone would be there, I presume that. Now, something I like to mention out during the visions is, Nia is talking about Jay, the love of her life, is what is mentioned in the German clip. Kai's love of his life is Skylar, and all he sees is his love of his life, nowhere. Maybe this is what he feels, this emptiness. And he needs to talk to Skylar, but hasn't had the chance. Maybe the whole thing with the merge, him going to find the system and destroying the Empress, has been a bit too much for Kai. And Kai is now teaching wildfire, and he still hasn't spoken to Skylar. It could be something that's up in the air. Um, we do know that during the mech pilot shorts, um, Cole and Kai had went back to Chen's noodle house. Who runs it? Skylar. Um, obviously, there could be a question and answer there. Could Skylar have served them? Possibly, but there was no explanation if they had met. And something that writers do need to do, um, and I would suggest this, is during the third season, or even in part two, um, but part two's already been done, um, Skylar needs to have an introduction. Um, Skylar needs an introduction to Dragon's Rising Bad, um, and she, realistically, out of all the other element monsters, she would be the most important one. So, like, bring back M Pixel, if you wanted to, after Pixel, the must is going on, and Skylar. Um, Skylar has a lot of potential, um, in this new series as well. Not to just be a ninja, but, um, to definitely, um, be an adversary for Kai, um, when I mean adversary, I don't mean a foe, but, like, a, um, sort of foe for a couple... A foe in the head where the relationship between them needs to grow, more or less. And it's going to be a Kai struggle. Um, I think that's what's lacked in seasons prior. People want to see more of Kai, how he feels, his emotions. We don't really get to see that if he doesn't have a love story. In season four, what that did was uh, in Tournament of Elements, when Kai connected with Skylight, it was a beautiful thing. And I just honestly think... Kai's arc needs to go a bit in that direction and a bit in every other direction as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Peace out.